Hello friends, welcome to Technique and this is the hands-on with the world's first commercially available wearable phone with a flexible display, the Nubia Alpha. So Nubia Alpha was first showcased at the Consumer Electronics Show this year and this has been also uh, made available at uh, the Mobile World Congress 2019. So we had a, a quick hands-on with the device at the Mobile World Congress and here are our impressions. So Nubia Alpha is the world's first uh, wearable uh, phone because we have seen uh, smartphones and uh, smart watches but uh, Nubia Alpha is a wearable uh, smartphone uh, wherein you can make calls, uh, you can send SMS, you can watch videos, you can take photos and a whole lot of things can be done using Nubia Alpha. Now looking at the design and build quality, it is made of metal construction. It comes in two colors, gold and black variant. So it looks really premium, it's metal strap and at the back panel you can see the custom charging port as well as uh, uh, the option for uh, the sensors and it comes in bl black and gold variant and it is constructed uh, from anodized uh, stainless steel and the gold variant features a band plated in real 18k uh, gold. So it is uh, pretty good uh, and it is also water resistant and the flexible uh, display is coated uh, with uh, in strong and heat resistant polyamide so that makes it uh, even tougher. So that's the display and uh, here you can see that uh, it, the display is a 4 inch panel and you get a lot of features included like the smartphone and uh, this is made uh, this is running actually a custom OS and you can see there are just supported and uh, it has uh, sensors on the top it also has a 5 megapixel camera in case you want to take pictures and the display is actually pretty good it's a flexible display and a uh, lot of gestures supported and similar to smartphone you get uh, all the features including uh, the system options uh, display settings and a whole lot of options are included and uh, you can customize just like your smart uh, watch then uh, basic apps like uh, music playback this also comes with a uh, 1 gigabyte ram and 8 gigabyte storage and this is powered by the qualcomm snapdragon wear 2100 platform and it provides a pretty good a smooth day-to-day -day experience that's what nubia claims and with a one gigabyte ram and eight gigabyte uh, onboard memory this should be quite good enough for uh, holding a few songs which you want to listen and the platform provides advanced mobile processing power as well as uh, it also uh, has pretty good battery life uh, thanks to the 500 mAh capacity battery and company claims that in a single charge it will provide around one to two days of battery life so that's the Nubia Alpha, it looks pretty good and this is the first wearable uh, phone uh, uh, which is showcased and you can see this is the camera how it looks and you can uh, record videos, you can take pictures using the friend uh, 5 megapixel camera and since this is a large display, uh, it's a 4 inch display, uh, you can actually uh, watch videos as well so it looks pretty good uh, in terms of uh, the features being offered and the OS is a custom one. So that's the Nubia Alpha, it looks pretty good and uh, this uh, will be available uh, first uh, in Europe. There is no mention of availability uh, in India as of now but uh, then uh, this will be available in two variants. One is the Bluetooth variant, the other one is the uh, 4G variant which uh, has an eSIM functionality so you can use just like your smartphone. But then the Bluetooth version uh, will not uh, be able to make calls because uh, uh, it does not have the network connectivity. But then it still uh, uh, has a lot of additional features uh, including uh, uh, option for taking pictures and uh, listening to songs and a uh, whole lot of options are included. That's the Nubia Alpha and uh, this uh, looks pretty good with a custom made wearable OS and uh, it has a lot of gestures, voice commands uh, and multi-touch functionality and uh, you can uh, do a lot of customizations and there is also a heart rate sensor, sleep tracking, exercise and a lot of modes are included with uh, this uh, wearable smartphone. Now you can see that the display is again flexible and looks pretty good as well. So overall uh, it, it looks definitely like a promising offering at Mobile World Congress. So that's it for this video. This is Nimal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.